Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest 3 The Kindred, where we are trying to plot some things on the city map. And apparently I was on the, the right sort of tracks according to you guys, so we're going to try that again. Um, I've actually googled a picture of a pentagram because I think I was getting it slightly wrong and that might have been the problem. Uh, but I was also told that the reason we got points for, for this thing... Um, is that there's a clue in here. So I'm going to reread it. The memo advises of a mandatory attendance of all female officers for physical performance testing at the beginning of shift tomorrow. Uh, so all of the female officers have got to go to testing at the beginning of shift tomorrow. So the only thing I can think of that might be a thing here is at the beginning of shift, maybe we can go into the... Um, into the female locker room and see if we can use the keys to get into why do we get points for that again and see if we can use the keys to get into um morales's locker um so we have to try and remember that i hate the way it does that seriously it's so annoying you can't just click off of there uh right well, i'm not really sure oh maybe because of when we saved actually so i don't know uh, anyway Let's try and do this thing again with the computer. We'll worry about... So tomorrow, so that'll be the next day, won't it? So we'll have to try and remember that, and then we'll try again. Uh, tools. Now, I've got all of the um, addresses written down this piece of paper from last time. So first one we've got is 392... 392 South. 392 South. So 300 South. Uh, 300 south, 300 south, 400 south. So somewhere like around here, 392 south and 6th. So 392 south and 6th. So we say, should we say, I don't know, about there? I don't know how accurate you have to be with the, uh, the actual positions because 392 is obviously somewhere in the middle of 400 and 300, which is a bit awkward. <clears throat> uh, so then we've got two... <clears throat> Sorry, 280 West and Palm. Uh, so 280 West is going to be... So that's 200, that's... What? 400. Uh, so 200 is there. So 280... So that's 300, so I don't know, about there. And then Palm. So where was Palm? Was it at the top? Palm. Yeah, okay. Let's just let's just go for there for now. <clears throat> three hundred and forty-one east. Three hundred and forty-one. So three hundred east. Four hundred east. So three hundred. So that's two hundred east. Oh no! So it's very weird the placement. Uh, so about there, and then rose. So down, 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 down. Peach. Rose. That's peach. That's rose. So there, uh, and then 376 west, so 300 west, 400 west, so maybe about here, and then rows, rows, so maybe line it up, three, okay, like that, so given what we were saying about the pentagram thing, do we need one about here? That That's about level, right? So we've got one, two and a half lines over from the left, one, two and a half lines over from the right. I'm trying to make it as symmetrical as possible. So <clears throat> I think maybe Daredevil was saying maybe do the, the order of the crimes. So we had the one at 392. So this was the 392 south street right six south and then the 280 west palm so was that 280 west palm i think it was and then i think didn't we go over to here yeah the rose one and then over to the other rose one i don't know how straight the lines have to be and then if we connect these to our theoretical point here okay and then our theoretical point here yes okay your pattern has formed a perfect pentagram can this show the location of the next murder maybe so 
Our next murder is potentially there. Um, okay. I mean, we've got points, so... What do we do now? Quit? So what do we do now? Graph on the wall, charts... Do we, like, mark it? Can't stop crying by ripping up the graph. Do we have to, like, call it in? Dispatch, maybe? The voice on the other end says, Dispatch, can I help you? You advise the dispatch to broadcast an all-points bulletin for the possible suspect vehicle. You describe the vehicle as being a gold General Motors sedan with possible white paint transfers. You also advise that the occupants may be armed and dangerous and to approach with caution. I've got it all, she says. I'll put this out on the air immediately. Yeah, but that's fine. But how do we say about the location? How do we say about the location, though? Because we've... I mean, is it... It's not marked now, but we got points, so I, I kind of feel like we have to tell somebody that we did that, like that we found potential location. I mean, unless we go to the location ourselves, of course, which is entirely possible. Um, let's save anyway, because we we did the um, that map thing. So maybe it's a case of we just go there. Um, plotted map. <laughs> Okay, um, what I'm actually going to do is, is get my copy of the map here and just look exactly where that is. Um, so, I think it's somewhere up near... So there's 200, so 1, 2, 1, 2. So it looks like it's around 100 east and 7th, potentially, 7th or 8th. So I don't know whether we've got to go there now. I mean, it would make sense to go and check it out, right? At least it would to me. Uh, fine. Can we... Maybe we can tell someone in here or something? Alright, there's literally nobody in here. So that's a big no. Um, oh, wait, hang on. What's this paper? That's lieutenant stuff. Can we... Don't mess with the lieutenant stuff. No, alright, fine. We can't do that. Where is the captain? Like, I feel like maybe this is the type of thing we need to to tell the captain, or whatever his, his name is. What, is there anything? No, come back, I wanna check the notice board. The bulletin board is where people post articles of interest, personal ads, and Chinese restaurant business cards. Okay, fine. Uh, nothing there. Maybe we've gotta go around and brief, is it Vice on the other side? I can't even remember what's where in this place, to be honest. Come on. There we go. Uh, Vice door is locked. No, all right. What was in? Oh, this is the briefing room, isn't it? So maybe the the captain guy is in here. Uh, Sunny, where are you? Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> maybe because we did walk instead of clicking with the arrow. There's literally no one anywhere. The message board is where the daily briefing notes are posted after the briefing. Need to stay up for public consumption. Soothing. There's nothing important on it. Although, can we look at this? Afternoon's briefing is already concluded. All right, well, I'll tell you what. The only thing I can really think of is to head out, to be honest. Just to head out to the location, which, like I said, I think was like... It's right at the top, so it's going to be Palm. And then it's going to be like a long... Hang on, where's my map? It's going to be Palm, and then it's going to be a long sort of 7th, 8th, 9th way, I think. Judging by... The other one was 6th, so... Uh, maybe 8th, 9th, actually, looking at this, because it was equal distance, wasn't it? All right. Um, let's head down to the ground floor, and we'll head out there. Okay, into the car. Is Morella's coming with us? Probably, right? She usually does. Yep, here she comes. We're on to you, Morales, don't you worry. We're going to raid your locker when you're um, at this briefing, I think. And we're going to find some sort of like clue linking her to this cult or some sort of other shady business going on. Uh, right, let's slow down. So we're going... According to the crime pattern, this serial killer will probably strike next somewhere around 200 East Palm. 
As I recall, the only buildings on the 200 block of East Palm are some warehouses and the Nugget Saloon. Alright, well it's nice of the game to tell us that it's somewhere around there. Uh, so 200 East Palm. So I keep closing my map like an idiot. So let's open it back up. Okay, 200 East Palm. Yes, oh actually that is directly between 8th and 9th. So actually I'm, I'm surprised the game told us that, to be quite honest. Turn. Okay, so we want to go this way. So we're eastbound on Rose at the moment. Seventh. And then if we turn at the next junction, we should be good, right? Eighth. And then we'll just head straight up. Litton Court, we don't want to go there. Let's uh, speed up a bit. I don't know how fast you're actually allowed to go on the normal roads. It's probably in the guidebook thing, whatever it's called, handbook, the officer's handbook. Uh, right, so there's going to be a stop sign coming up, isn't there? Along here. Right, stop ahead. So we're on 8th and Palm here, right? So can we actually just get out here? Can't leave a car in the middle of an intersection. Of course we can't. Uh, right, maybe it's here, eastbound on Palm. Ah, uh, yep, here we go, we're... Oh, this is a gold yellow car, that could be our car. 1323, let's write this down. Uh, 1323, this place looks dodgy as hell. 1323, gold car. As you can imagine, my notes are very chaotic and not in any particular order, so let's hope we don't have to refer to them in any court cases or anything like that. Um, okay, so... I mean, it looks more yellow than gold, but I'm guessing, given the way it's scraped up, it is the gold car? Question mark? Uh, let's have a look. Sonny, just look at the car, man. You look at the parked car and notice that the license plates are missing. The car matches the description of the suspect vehicle. Giving the car a closer look, you see what appears to be a fresh white paint transfer. Bingo, you mutter. I got you now, SOB. Uh, okay, can we... Do we have our... Can we, like, take... You decide to stick around? Yeah, but I sort of want to... I want to do, like, a... I want to do like a sample thing of the car if I can, but I, d I don't want to get in the car, Sonny, I want to get to the boot. Oh yes, okay, we can. For a minute I thought it was going to be some horrible thing that we had to take this out before we got here. Uh, okay, so let's get that, that, you don't need the camera, and that, alright, fine. How does this work again? Uh, close. How do you? There you go. Right. Okay. Uh, so we have got the scraper. We've got the toothpicks, and we've got some sample envelopes. So my guess would be scraper, but maybe not. That engine looks. Uh, I don't know. Like it's had better days, maybe. You carefully scrape some of the white paint transfer off and put it in an envelope. Okay, can we have a look at this engine? You inspect the car once more and find no evidence other than the paint transfer. Okay, uh, let's just see if we can use one of these on the car. We cannot. Uh, Morales? The car looks like the suspect vehicle we've been looking for. Hmm, no tags though. Okay, so... Okay, I don't. so there's no no way of ID in the car, is there, running it through the system because we don't have the ID plates? Um, got white paint sample. So we've got that. Um, what's, what's the deal down here? Is there anything this way? This is probably like the place we walk down and get shot or something, isn't it? It is a Sierra game after all. The back entrance of the bar seems to be locked. Okay, so, I mean, maybe we just head into the the thing then. Okay. Hi everyone, not police officers. 
I'm going to check out the back for the suspect, Sonny. Hmm. I don't like that. Leaving us isolated in here seems suspicious. There's a pool table at one end of the bar room. A staple of American neighborhood juice joints. Okay, the bartender is a tough looking woman. She's sporting a Peterbilt t-shirt and a don't mess with me grimace. She looks as though she's perfectly capable of keeping her customers in line. Man playing pool looks like a rough customer. You wonder where his pool partner is. Uh, just a skinny little guy minding his own business. It's a place of a lot. There's a lot of atmosphere. The guy looks like he sprouted out of that bar stool. It must be a regular here. What's this? See various scores of past games. Cues look pretty beat up. Probably get a sliver from it. Uh, a sliver. Does that mean a, a splinter? Is is that what we're talking about there? Uh, place has a lot of atmosphere. Okay. Can we talk to anyone here? Can we? You know anything about that car parked out front? My customers' cars are their own business. Okay, thanks. Alright, let's talk to some of these people. Oh, there's the guy who's playing, I guess. Excuse me, sir, is that your car parked right out front? Sorry to bother you. Uh, it, like, skipped a dialogue line there for some reason. Uh, excuse me, sir, is that your car parked right out front? Nah, my car's been in the shop all week. Why? Nothing, thanks. Alright, let's speak to these guys. Whoa! You think about Maria's the bullet rips through your- What the hell happened there? The last thing you hear is the- That's here spelt wrong. Is the suspect's laughter. <laughs> okay. What- what happened there? Did somebody, like, stab us or shoot us or something? I have no idea what just happened. Alright, well, we're out of time anyway, so we'll try and figure this out in the next one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne Nates, Tumbly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.